So now I'm going to try to get my um, my game uh, showing game over whenever the health hits zero or if it's lower than zero. As you can see, I removed uh, the C ouch for two seconds out of reduce health and put it under each um, each call of reduce health. So the octopus actually says ouch every time it hits the wall. Um, so I need to check at any time if my health is still above zero. So the way to do this is that I'm going to bring uh, when the green flag is clicked and we want to check the value of health. Now the value of health could be uh, 50, it could be 40, it could be 0, but it could also be negative something. For instance, if the value is 10 and every time you touch the wall you decide to remove 30, it goes from 10 to minus 20. So I want to check health to see if it's equal to 0 or if it's negative. So for that I'm going to bring an OR statement, which returns a boolean because it has this pointy arrow to it. And I'm going to check two condi conditions. One is, is my health equal to zero? And the second one is going to be, is my health less than zero? And if either of those conditions are true, then I want to do something. So to check, I'm going to bring an if statement with my condition inside the if statement. And what do we need to happen in case we're reaching to a lower amount of health? Well, we would like to be able to tell everybody that the game is over. And we want to tell it to the stage because the stage is going to switch to a new background. In order to get sprites communicate with one another or sprites communicating to the stage, we can use a broadcast block. And the broadcast allows us to send messages. The message I'm going to send is game over. And anybody can receive that. So the octopus can receive it and decide to act on it. When I received game over, I might want to hide myself because we don't want to see the octopus anymore. Now I'm going to go to the stage and we need a new costume for the stage that says game over. So here I created one by using the paintbrush and I named it game over. So you can see the name over there, game over background. And in my script I can say that I want to switch to the costume game over background when I'm receiving the message game over. <clears throat> so now it's time to test all of that script that we just added. Let's start our game. And you can see my octopus is not showing, which means that I need to make sure that when we're starting the game, we have a show block. That was missing. That's an initialization script. So let's start the game again. And now I have my octopus. I can make my octopus move and it's hitting the wall and you can see the health is going down to the point where it's going to reach zero.
Oh, and we see that it's not working. We got a bug. Why is my background not showing? Let's go back to the stage and look at the script. Well, that looks good. Let's go back to the sprite. And here's our error. Is that we are checking if the health is equal to zero or less than zero as soon as we have clicked and selected the green flag. But then it executes once, and if it's not true, then it's done. What we want to do is to check all the time through our program. So we need to add a forever block. And forever, you need to check the health. So now, I need to retest it. I need to reinitialize everything. And let's see if it's going to, to work. And you can see that when a block is executing, it's highlighting. I reach zero. This is becoming true. A broadcast came over, which hide the sprite and also switch the background.